Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. I guess I'll post an expedition if you can There's a string. Thesis on Chivalry, Thavonia's Bladework Fundamentals. <sighs> so much to learn before the exam. How will I ever get through everything? Oh, honorary knight! Long time no see! Anything you need me to take care of? Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. It has been quite a while since we last met, hasn't it? I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than for work and training, I've barely left the library. The exam is drawing nearer and nearer, but there just seems to be an endless amount of material to review. <sighs> right. The Knights of Avonia selection exam. Oh. Even though I've already worked for the Knights as a maid for some time, I still need to pass this exam to officially become a knight. It's just that I've failed several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. No, no, thank you. I could take care of myself. I hope. This is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill my dream. Any obstacles I face are mine to overcome. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. Well, you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But, on the day of the exam, if... if you happen to be free... Um, based on the night's schedule, I think it should be... half a year from now. But it's just half a year! Don't you think that's quite soon? Even though there is still some time, if I don't make good use of it, it will disappear. I've planned my schedule carefully. If I sleep two hours less each day, and finish my work one hour earlier, then as long as I spend all the time I save studying, I should just about be able to finish these books. Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy, and I have some candy on hand just in case I ever feel low on energy. No, it won't. I've made sure to allocate time for training, too. After all, combat is also assessed as part of the examination. Uh, did I get too worked up all of a sudden? My vision seems a bit blurry. No. I still have training tomorrow. I must freshen up. <sighs> I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. I'm okay. Oh, but every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But in the end, I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes me even more ner- You mean a change of location? Hmm. Yes, staying in the Knight's headquarters and in the library all the time does tend to make me feel as if I always have to be studying. But where else could I go? The Cat's Tail? Or the Angel's Share? Or perhaps somewhere away from the city? Star Snatch Cliff or Windrise? I could even make some muffins, grab some napkins, and make a picnic out of it. Hmm. But would that just waste too much time? A trip? To Leor? Oh, I couldn't possibly justify that. In the time it would take to get to Leo and back, I could have finished several of my books. Hmm. You really think I shouldn't limit myself to Mondstadt? Maybe you're right. Mondstadt is symbolized by the wind. But my vision is a Geo one. Maybe visiting the nation built by the Geo Archon could help me learn something new. Hmm. Very well then. If it's just a quick visit...
I can't believe I've really come all the way to Lyra. Wow. The architecture here is so unique. And there are so many people around. But somehow, I feel like I'm constantly being watched. No. Please, don't make fun of me. Oh, you shouldn't make jokes like that in public. People may hear you and get the wrong idea. Huh. How strange. Back in Mondstadt, I never feel shy around strangers. But over here, I feel so tense. It's probably because I'm in a completely different environment. I don't know how I should act to make sure I don't make a fool of myself. And speaking of... I heard that it's customary to eat with chopsticks in Liyue. Back in Mondstadt, I have previously provided chopsticks to visitors from Liyue, but I've never used them myself. Oh, I hope I won't become a laughingstock. Huh? Oh, I... I was just thinking aloud. Don't worry about it. My time here in Liyue is precious. I should make good use of it to study. True. If I offended the locals by not knowing their customs, I wouldn't have the chance to learn from them. Huh. Then, okay. Let's start by learning about the local cuisine. Do you have any suggestions? Okay. If it comes recommended by you, I'm excited to find out what kind of food it is. If it isn't the Traveler, what would you like to order today? One Min Restaurant will cook it just how you like it. Oh, is this a new customer you've brought with you? Based on Madame's attire, it would appear that... Even a Knight of Favonius will travel all the way to Liyue just to try One Min Restaurant's cooking. Knight of Favonius? Oh, I I'm not... <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. You must be in Liyue on official business. But anyway, while you're here in Liyue, I can confidently say that you won't regret stopping by Wanmin Restaurant to try our tasty dishes. That... that's not what I meant. Not what you meant? Oh, I see. I suppose you must be looking for Liyue Pavilion or Sinue Kiosk. <sighs> Most first-time visitors have only heard of these two places. I just didn't expect the Knights of Favonius to be the same way. What, what I meant was, I am not an official Knight of Favonius. I'm just a knight in training currently serving as a maid. Goodness, they really distinguish between knights to that degree? Well, anyway, as long as you dine at Wanmin Restaurant, rest assured you will leave here a satisfied customer. Since this is your first time in Liyue, perhaps you're not used to chopsticks yet. If so, might I recommend the grilled tigerfish? Fresh, fragrant, and easy to eat. If I tone down the spice a little, <laughs> it should be perfect for the Mondstadt palate. Wanna try it? Um, I want to learn about the Liyue diet. Adjusting the dish to accommodate what I'm used to seems to defeat the purpose of coming here. Oh, you want to try something with more of a local flavor. Well, in that case, you've got to try our signature dish, Black Back Perch Stew. The only thing is, you can't really eat it without using chopsticks, and the level of spice is not for everyone. I pour oil into a hot pan, throw in a big handful of Jueyun chilies, and stir-fry them to release the flavor. Then, I sprinkle in some powdered violet grass to enhance the spiciness. Phew! I can already feel the spiciness just by listening to your description. Will I be able to handle it? Right! I can't give up so soon! Hm. It's just a harmless bit of chili pepper. I can take it. Chef Mao, I will go with your recommendation. <laughs> Great. Please have a seat. One black back perch stew coming right up. <coughs> oh, so spicy. I can't even hold my chopstick steadily. <coughs> Oh, I'm... I'm fine. It's certainly very spicy, but once you get over that... Oh, 
It's quite delicious. What surprised me is how the freshness of the fish still shines through, despite how heavily seasoned the dish is. Hmm. The next time I entertain guests from Liyue, I wonder if I'll be able to prepare such delicious food for them. <gasps> really? Then let me bake some muffins for you when we get back. Wow, you've already finished? How do you feel? Even locals rarely finish the dish so quickly. Oh, it was very good. Thank you, Chef Mao. Ah, you're very welcome. Seeing customers satisfied is my greatest pleasure. But, I must say, I really didn't expect you to drink the soup. It's so spicy that most people here in Liyue can't even handle it. What? The soup? We... we weren't supposed to drink it? Oh, um, yes. Let's. <sighs> Next time I eat in Liyue, I'll be sure to check how each dish is meant to be consumed first. Oh! That sounds like ironwork going on over there. Is it a blacksmith? From the kind of weapons made here, I should be able to learn something about the local combat style. Will you come with me to the blacksmith so I can take a look? Oh, great! It's almost like you're the host and I'm your guest. As a maid, I can't help but feel a little guilty. Oh, Liyue people must have iron stomachs. Wow! Just from looking at these weapons, I can tell they have great power. Well, this is the nation built by the Geo Archon, after all. Oh, I wonder how Favonia's blade work could be applied to these weapons, and what kind of modifications would be needed. Yes, and even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always do, I don't feel as nervous as I did when I was in Mondstadt. Hey! You over there! What are you doing? Huh? What's wrong, little boy? Huh? Who are you calling little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. I see you, with your strange attire, acting all mysterious, loitering around the ironmongers. Yeah, you're up to no good. I, I'm not up to anything. Huh. You can't hide it from me. I see the way you look at those weapons. Same way I look at them, too. You must be planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades when the man's not looking, huh? Well, I'm warning you. Quit while you're ahead. Stop before you do something you'll regret. Cause if you get caught, uh, that man is gonna yell at you. Honorary Knight, please. I told you not to call me that. Knight of Favonius? Huh, then she's no small fry after all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you, unless... Hmm, unless you show me your greatsword and also your vision. Uh, that's not true. No greatsword can outshine the mighty Dugu longsword. And one day, I'm gonna get my geovision. So, uh, I'm not jealous. Who said anything about being jealous? Huh. The cat is out of the bag. Um, all right then, if you insist. Um, please be careful with them. Don't hurt yourself. You... you're really gonna let me have a look? Wow, you're so nice! Wow, that glow, it really is a geovision. And this sword is so heavy. Ugh, I can't hold it. Ugh, it's not fair. If only I were a bit bigger. Be patient, you'll get there. Besides, I'm sure your dream will come true one day. Uh, hmm. It's clear to me now. You bear a geovision. You wield a greatsword. You're a nice person from Mondstadt. You must be a fabled knight of Favonius. Uh, huh? Huh. I must accept that the knights of Favonius of Mondstadt live up to their name. But I shall not concede defeat. As surely as the hills are green and the rivers flow into the sea, our paths will cross again. Wait, I... Oh, he's gone. I do hope there are no further misunderstandings today. 
children and Leo have these dreams too. I never would have thought. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of visions we would have when we grew up. I hope that someday this boy's dreams will come true too. <sighs> anyway, what's next? Should we visit Leo's harbor or take a short break? Yes, there does seem to be a large number of megaliths stationed at the harbor. It would be great if I can learn something from them. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Wow, it's good to finally meet you two. Yes, word is that a knight of Favonius has appeared in Liyue. That's why I came to have a look. I never expected that one of you would be the honored guest of the Chi Sing, and the other one must be the rumored knight of Favonius. Oh, uh, sorry, I am not yet a knight. I see, I see. Uh, please excuse me for the misunderstanding. Allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Shaiyin, a Millilith responsible for garrison and patrol duties. And I am Noel, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Of course, I am not yet an official knight. Understood. Allow me to apologize on behalf of all the residents of this area for the misunderstanding earlier. Oh, it's no big deal. More importantly, is there a reason why you were looking for a Knight of Favonius? May I be of any assistance? Well, let me fill you in. I just received some intel that a group of treasure hoarders, originally from Mondstadt, has shown up in this area recently. According to the intel, they've set up camp near Stonegate. If we act too rashly and let them escape back to Mondstadt, then it'll be difficult for the Millilith to continue pursuing them. That's why I was hoping the Knight of Favonius could join me in the arrest, so we could act as each other's witnesses. But it seems like this is easier said than done. I'm sorry. Oh, if only I could have passed this selection exam earlier. Uh, if I submitted an official request for assistance to the Knights of Favonius, all I would achieve is to buy the treasure hoarders time to plan their escape. Might I ask if there are any other Knights of Favonius in Leo Harbor at present? Any other knights in Liyue? Oh, of course! If it's a knight you need, well, there's one right here. An honored guest of the Chi Sing and an honorary knight too? Well, if someone who's independently a hero in two different nations is willing to lend me a hand, I can't exactly do better than that. It's just that I feel a little ashamed calling on a hero who defeats ancient gods to assist with something so trivial. Wait! So, as well as Storm Terror, you defeated an ancient god, too? Then I am truly honored. Please excuse me while I catch up with my comrades stationed at Stonegate. I will confirm the details of the arrest with them. Whenever the two of you are ready, please come and find me there. Let's rendezvous shortly. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail.
While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Ah, oh, thank you both for your help. We've confirmed the location of the treasure hoarders, and we will move out shortly. In case any of them slip through our grasp and try to escape to Mondstadt, we will need someone to guard this path. As I said earlier, it would not be appropriate for the Millilith to take action here, so I will have to rely on you two. Um, though I am not a Knight of Favonius yet, may I still help in some capacity? Oh, uh, I only asked the Honorary Knight here to act as a witness. There are no specific restrictions over how the arrest is carried out. So please, there's no need to feel apprehensive about your involvement. If that's the case, I... I shall be glad to help to the fullest extent that I am able. Then I will meet up with my comrades first. If the treasure hoarders try to escape, they will have to pass through here. So I am counting on you two. I will have order! Um, would you mind letting me handle this mission? Yes. If it hadn't been for you, I would not have been able to participate. As expected, compared to the Honorary Knight, I still have a long way to go. But, I still want to do everything within my ability to share the load. As you wish. Then leave it all to me. Oh, they're coming already. Oh, facing them alone. Do I have what it takes? I knew it wasn't done. I knew it wasn't done. Time to clean up. Otherwise, I... Oh... Thank you! We've successfully detained all the treasure hoarders who tried to escape through here. We've double-checked the numbers against the intel we were given, and it looks like none of them escaped. Small wonder that you are the honored guest of the Chising and Mondstadt's honorary knight. Oh, it was Miss Noel who defeated the treasure hoarders. Thank you so much! Oh, you're... you're quite welcome. To be of help to you, sir, and to the Millilith, it is my great honor. You are too humble. I hear from the merchants that the Knights of Favonius of Mondstadt are both highly skilled and only too willing to rescue people in the direst of situations. With the skills and integrity you've shown, it's no wonder that the residents of Chuhu Rock mistook you for a real knight. Sadly, they are quite mistaken. I am still far from becoming a real knight. <laughs> Then I sincerely look forward to seeing you in action in the future, after you do become a real knight. It's getting late. I should escort these treasure hoarders back. While the Millilith stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Hope to meet you both again. Goodbye, Mr. Shaheen. Oh, a real knight. How much longer until I become worthy of this title? Oh, you're right. Wow, the time flew by so quickly. Is it really time to go back already? Apologies. I know this is a lot to ask, but... But could you... spend a little longer with me? I still have somewhere that I'd like to visit. That's right! 
I often make tea for the Knights of Pavonius, so I wanted to come here and see what I can learn. Would you care to join me for some tea? <sighs> Leela's tea is certainly different from that of Mondstadt. Both the taste and the consistency are different, but the warm and soothing scents it brings me as I drink it, that feels the same. When I read about the Knights of Pavonius and the Millilith in books, their rules and philosophy seem so different. But it seems the desire to protect one's own people is the same everywhere. Yes! Deep down, people everywhere are the same. <sighs> I don't think I'm so afraid of my exam anymore. I know I still have a long way to go compared to the honorary knight. Listening to your stories is like reading about myths and legends. But still, this motivates me to work harder and look forward even more to the day when it finally comes. The day that I can fight side by side with you as a knight. Oh, let's come back to Leo again after my exam is over. Thank <laughs> you.